Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Richard and today I'm on the BSA Gold Star. 2023 BSA Gold Star is just over one year old. And she's absolutely wonderful. She really is absolutely wonderful. I know I've got the T120 now and that seems to take up a lot of the time on the on the on the channel but I'm trying to give a fair share to the BSA the gold star she's an absolutely beautiful girl absolutely beautiful she's lovely to ride she's, she's so characterful so characterful and if anybody can notice from this particular angle because I'm using a chess mount today. Uh, I'm trying out a chess mount before I go off to Austria and see if I can get some good video from uh, the chess mount rather than on the helmet. Uh, so, the BSA Gold Star is a wonderful me machine. She's got so much character. She's just oozing with character and if you like that that single cylinder bike approach oh you've this this machine really does let it out and she gets so much attention and everybody smiles and probably thinks that she's 50 years old when she's only one year old so it does cause a bit of attention but I think we ought to come do do a reality check on this. I mean, this bike's a year and three month old now, and I think it's time for Mahindra to get a grip on what they're doing with the BSA brand that they now own. I mean, as you can see, if you can see from this camera angle the ECU light is on and really Mahindra should have encouraged a recall out for uh, out for the BSA Gold Star it's in their interest as a business to resolve this problem because Mahindra are putting all the money up they're putting all the money up so it's in their interest to resolve this issue and I know that they're trying to build a, an electric bike which will be coming as a super price I am sure but it's in their interest to perform a recall for all BSAs within the UK and across uh, the two was it France and Luxembourg that they've released it to and get this problem sorted out and now oh that was a big bump now I've worked with Indian companies before and I know that Royal Enfield have really sorted themselves out Royal Enfield are at the top of the class but I've worked with in Indian companies before working in IT they tend to be they often tend to be integrators of IT systems but we're not going to go too much into that and I understand how they work they've got the product out everything seems to be working it's 90% okay just leave it behind Mahindra pull your socks up make a recall on all the machines that need a new firmware update to get rid of this ECU problem, this ECU light, and the stall that occurs when the machine is cold. Yeah? Get yourself sorted out. If anybody's from, from Mahindra is watching this, if you need any help, just give me a shout. If you've been watching the channels of the past on the BSA, you'll know that I work for in IT at senior levels. 
to get issues addressed. Not necessarily with motorcycles, but other enterprise systems. Now you've released many, many BSA Gold Stars, which are absolutely fantastic. And the owners are coming back and saying they're absolutely fantastic. So do something that's right. Stop working with this Indian mentality where you think it's all right, it's out now. We don't need to do anything. We've sold a load of them. We can focus on another market like America and get it out there as well. Get your software right. Get a recall out to everybody and get your support organizations to come and get everybody in and do the right flash drive, uh, the right firmware flashes performed on the bike and or any lambda sensors that might need to be changed or anything like that, any other sensors. You can tell it's raining. I'm struggling to get away from any rain. My goodness. It's a good job the camera's uh, waterproof. I'm sorry about this rain. Hopefully it will not uh, be too bad on the video. But Mahindra, sort yourself out. You've got tons of money. I know you have. Stop creaming off the profit. And tell the, you know, if you're in engineering, go to the chief financial officer and say, we need to do this. Problem with Indian companies is the orders come from the top downwards and they don't listen to narrative that goes from the bottom upwards. I've seen it before, I'll see it again. When it comes to the technology side of things, it ain't great. And if you've ever had an enterprise system delivered by an Indian company, I don't know, Tata, Wipro, all those, all the big players, let me know what your thoughts are. If you're a BSA owner, have you been approached with a recall? I haven't. Oh my goodness, the rain comes. Let's just wipe that lens. Let's hope. There we are. Please, truck, don't pull out on me. Oh, why is it? I mean, it's the end of May now. It's the end of May, and we're having April showers in the UK. And if you're into climate uh, stuff and information, you might want to go on the channel on YouTube called Astrum, who have just released a one hour, 50 minute video on why the climate is changing on the planet, taking into account the Earth and the current cyclical events on the sun. You might want to have a look at that. That might tell you why the planet's warming up. Maybe, maybe. Oh, it's terrible when it's raining. I heard the weather's going to be nice next week. Look at all those potholes. So the, the weather's going to be nice next week when I set off to Austria. So that's going to be good. Of course, you might not get this video for another. It might be the early part of June when you get this video. I'm being open and transparent. But Mahindra, going back to the subject, Mahindra, you need to do something. Do something that's right. And stop listening to your chief financial officer. I know everything's run by financial officers now. But my God, the passion and product quality is seriously uh, impacted in a lot of ways. And that sends a message down to your customer base. 
and currently you ain't sending the best message she's a beautiful bike absolutely beautiful bike with a little bit of a problem get that problem sorted out don't send you know get get the software sorted out properly and then get a recall done don't release a version point dot 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 x or dot 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 n version out and then get your customers to go and have a firmware upgrade where the bike still stalls when it's cold do it properly take time let your engineers sort things out give them the time to experiment and test and then when they're happy from an engineering perspective then let that firmware update out to the masses and then perform a recall my goodness there's no rocky science here anything that you produce Mahindra from this point forward is dependent in, in, in the motorcycling fraternity is absolutely dependent on how you support the BSA Gold Star of today if you don't support it then nobody's going to buy the next bike everybody's going to be a bit cautious so go and do the right thing stop thinking about today's profit think about tomorrow's profit the purchase of the BSA Uh, business name was for future not for today for future so do something constructive what do you think everybody put your comments below put your comments below oh I can't wait to go to Austria I'm really looking forward to it I'd have loved to have gone on the BSA but I'm going to have to go on the T120. It's all booked up now. It's all booked up. So. And the seat on the BSA is super comfortable. Super comfortable. The uh, T120 is a bit harder. And fingers crossed, I'm hoping I'm not going to get a sore bum. Hoping I'm not going to get a sore bum. Let's wipe that lens again there we go hopefully that's a bit better for you so I'm trying out a chest mount at the moment I have played with it in the past but I thought I'm gonna try the chest mount and see what it's like in readiness for taking the chest mount over to Austria Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Hope you found this interesting. Get in touch with Mahindra and tell them your problems on the BSA. Let's force Mahindra to perform the right firmware updates and any physical changes that are required to the BSA Gold Star. and get a recall performed any other organization would have performed a recall by now it's over a year ago over a year i mean let's let's face it mahindra have done a wonderful job on the bsa gold star they've done a wonderful job it's a beautiful bike it's probably the most retro of retro bikes it probably it probably is it's so much like the it's, it's just like taking you back to the 1960s it's beautiful it's the most retro retro bike on the on the market and it's super when she's riding she's absolutely beautiful and of course this 
ECU line doesn't affect the performance of the bike. She just flies. This 650cc single is absolutely wonderful. These roads are a bit greasy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I'll speak to you very soon. Ride safely, be kind to everyone, and see you soon. Bye-bye.